Hi friends, welcome to IT Code. In this session, we are going to see about one of the set options in SQL Server that is ANSI warnings on or off. ANSI warnings controls the standard ISO behavior of the SQL Server database engine for various error conditions. So using ANSI warnings by on it will control the error sequence with the ISO standard. So here we can check with the ANSI warnings with these type of error conditions. Generally ANSI warnings raised on null value encountering the null value during an aggregate operation or encountering a divide by zero error or string or binary data would be truncated. We can get the warnings based on this type of errors. Here we can apply with the ANSI warnings of what would be the result. We can check with this. Here creating one table student. So student ID is a student name. Which is 10. With mark one as India. So three type. So we got three records, and finally give one null values to this. It's a statement. I am fetching from that student. So here, first we consider inter encountering the null value during an aggregate operation. Here, fetching data with one aggregate function is maximum mark 1 So here we can say warning null value is eliminated by an aggregate or other set operation. Here SQL Server Engine default ANSI warning is enabled. That is ANSI warnings on. This is the default for SQL Server set option. So here if we give and see warning off. It will not convey the warnings to us. So these are the ISO standard. So if it can, in case it has a null value, it should give the warnings to the user. So here we can control the ISO standard error from it with ANSI warnings. So this is a, one of the error condition for ANSI warnings that is encountering a null value to the aggregate functions. The second one is divided by 0. Here mark 1 divided by 0 from student. It gives us a divided by 0 error encountered. Here and see warnings of it controls the error divided by zero error with 
the data here we should uh, we, we should note one of that arid the word statement option should be off for this condition will we turn on the uh, ansi warning sign the arid the word option automatically enabled so will give gives off so divide by 0 conditions we should check with it at the bot is off so here off so we can get there this is it without the warning of with the warning of division by 0 or a cut If we enable the ANSI warnings, it will raise the error message. Divide by zero, error encountered. So, and the third one is stringer binary data will be truncated with ANSI warnings. So here, I declare with the pseudo name with ten characters only here. so default by default method ansi warnings on it will raise the error due to the uh, size of the column we declared as 10 characters only but here we can use more so it will raise the uh, error stringer binary data would be truncated and the statement has been terminated here we should uh, disable the ansi warnings it will lacks up and it gives a data allocated size so these are the examples with the ansi warnings how it uh, how it controls a uh, iso standard error conditions so we can use this ansi warnings within name within our procedures stored procedures and we control the error conditions hope this talk will be very useful to you if you like this session please like and subscribe thank you friends